I'm Penny. And I'm Elle, and you're listening to the Enneagram and Popcorn Podcast. It should be noted that we are by no means Enneagram experts. We're not here to type you, but we do love talking about it. If you're looking to find your Enneagram type, we recommend working with a licensed professional and reading some of the great books in our resources section in the show notes. Also, our opinions about these amazing characters are our own, and we want to hear your opinions, too. Feel free to join the conversation by shooting us a line at pennyandl at gmail.com. Today, we are talking about the holiday. You can't see it, but she's holding up the DVD. (laughs) So unlike many of the shows and movies we've talked about, this is not on Netflix or Hulu, people. And that's the whole reason why I'm holding up my physical DVD old style, like the true 30-something year old that I am. (laughs) You can also buy, you can rent it on Amazon Prime, I think for $3.99. And then you can also buy it on um i apple t on an apple tv and it was 7.99 i also have the dvd but i don't have a dvd player so i couldn't watch the dvd modern times we live in it's like the jets in this yes (laughs) okay so since this is a movie about making movies and the drama that comes with it i thought i would read the back of the dvd too Heartwarmingly funny and totally charming, claims Mark S. Allen of CBS slash CW Television Group. In Nancy Myers' The Holiday, a romantic comedy from the director of Something's Gotta Give and What Women Want, two women trade homes only to find that a change of address can change their lives. Iris, Kate Winslet, is in love with a man who is about to marry another woman. Across the globe, Amanda who is Cameron Diaz, realizes the man she lives with has been unfaithful. Oh no. Two women who have never met and live 6,000 miles apart find themselves in the exact same place. They meet online at a home exchange website and impulsively switch homes for the holiday. Iris moves to Amanda's LA house in sunny California as Amanda arrives in snow-covered English countryside. Shortly after arriving at their destinations, both women find the last thing either wants or expects, a new romance. Amanda is charmed by Iris's handsome brother, Graham, Jude Law, and Iris with inspiration provided by legendary screenwriter, Arthur, mends her heart when she meets film composer, Miles, who is Jack Black. What will happen? You'll only find out after you've watched this movie for the 750th time like me (laughs) and Elle. (laughs) Yep, pretty much. Last, I watched it again last night, I think, and Penny did as well, or this morning. And I was like, I probably could have done this off of memory alone, but just to watch the movie was fun. (laughs) Yeah, and Arthur's played by Eli Wallach, by the way. I don't think I said that, so... Yeah, this is such a classic movie. So many amazing characters. Okay. It is so dated, though. Like, I don't think I've watched, sat down and truly watched it in a couple of years. And even when um, Amanda sits down to do the Googling, like, it's old school Google branding. Like, (laughs) I just, yes. I didn't realize that when I was watching it, but... And now that you're saying that, that is so true. And they don't make movie trailers with the voiceovers like that, like they used to really. Like, oh yeah, that is uh, kind of a thing that doesn't really happen anymore. But, and I'm not sure exactly when it stopped, but I kind of miss it. Yeah, I, I, if you, like, I feel like a lot of shows, like one that comes to mind, like Forgetting Sarah Marshall, that is the same thing the movie that keeps playing in Forgetting Sarah Marshall is the same voiceover, but it's that same time era of like, that's what you did. That Yeah, that's what they did. And I mean, that's what we grew up with. It's so crazy. 
to think about that. But yeah, how old is this movie? <laughs> I don't know, but when it started the Paramount Paramount Pictures old like lady i don't even know what it is i was like oh dang 2006 that's when this came out wow yep yeah yep i was living my best little uh high school senior life i was 11 (laughs) (laughs) yep so that's pretty awesome i love this movie yeah i don't know it just makes you feel good And, and i am a six l here i'm talking Emma six and I don't like feeling the feelings and I felt the feelings but it's because it's a classic and my body has felt the feelings before so I allowed myself to cry many many times in this movie I yeah and you know we were talking to Naomi from lovely lettering yes the love hold on Naomi I'm I'm gonna do right by you here I'm sorry girl uh (laughs) but so she made this series of illustrations of holiday movies and she actually said that the holiday is a six movie which i think is accurate because it's a classic it's like you know everything's gonna happen in the end it's gonna be good and there's gonna be bumps along the way but they're not dramatic like bumps so my six heart can like take it yep I think she's right. Yeah. Yeah. Naomi from lovely letter design on Instagram. She has amazing work. Love her. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will go first. Iris four wing five. Amanda eight question mark, three question mark, dot, dot, dot. I have thoughts. Graham two wing three miles, seven wing six, Arthur five wing four. Are you ready for this? No. Iris, two wing one. Amanda, three wing four, six question marks. Graham, four wing five. Miles, seven wing six. Arthur, four or five or seven question marks. All right. Whoa. (laughs) I thought I was dead on, so this is going to be interesting. I thought I was too. (laughs) Okay, well, let's jump in. Let's do. We started it. this thinking it was going to be a short show, and now I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not so sure. All right, let's talk about Iris. So Iris is a British journalist who is in love with maybe Jasper. her boss or coworker. I wasn't quite. I think sure. it's a coworker. Okay, and he just announced his engagement. And he's kind of been leading her on. And she's like, and neglected and forgot to tell me. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. And you might talk me into a four wing five right now. But so, because I started out thinking she was a four. Do you Uh, want me to read the bullet points? Sure. You say what you were just going to say, and then I'll read the bullet points. Well, like typical romantic, lots of feelings, lots of crying, blah, blah, blah. And so like the, one of the big tells about fours, and I feel okay talking about this since I am a four. And it's sometimes it feels weird for me to say it out loud. Cause it sounds like, it sounds kind of crazy when I say it out loud, but one of the things that fours do the nice way we like to say it is that we have a rich inner world. Right? Like that's like how all the podcasts and books say fours have a rich inner world, which feeds their creativity and makes them who they are, blah, blah, blah. But like fours, I'm going to keep saying fours instead of I, (laughs) because then I don't have to own it as much. Fours will straight up, like make up completely different realities in their head that they retreat to when they're feeling uncomfortable and like withdrawn to. So part of why I thought she was a four initially was like, she's kind of really fed into this whole her and Jasper romance that's not really real. And he doesn't really give two poops about her at all. And it's just in her head. So that's kind of where I was living in four land for a little while until um, I, we get to 
LA and she meets Arthur and she sees him and she like, this is where I feel like her true to nature starts to come out. Like she really connects with him. Like she wants to take care of him and like serve him and like, you know, which I think any normal person who sees an old man, like walking alone on the side of the road might stop. And of course, like, so, Hey, I know where you live. Like, (laughs) let's get this sorted out. But she kind of goes above and beyond that. And I saw that as a two thing. And then I thought back to the beginning where her friend is like, you still do Jasper's laundry. And then Jasper starts like texting her and calling her. And I'm like, crap this is not in her head like he really is like leading her on and letting her believe like that there are all these feelings so he can take advantage of her and twos grow to four so that's I decided her like true romantic feelings and like like the scene where they're having the Hanukkah dinner like that feels like such a four moment to me of just like oh the lights the aesthetic the laughing blah, blah, blah. And like Jack Black is there. It's like their second meet cute. I'm like, I feel like she's growing into a four instead of like, she's an unhealthy four. Like, I think she's a two. That was a lot of talking. My argument is the complete opposite of what you just said. So she feels the feelings. She feels them. She lets herself feel them. Um, The bullet points I put for four is warm, authentic, compassionate, friendly, passionate, supportive, and deep. And then I put at the beginning when she isn't doing well and she's like in Jasper's web of disgustingness, fours descend to two. And then also twos help people for recognition. And I don't think that she did that. Ah, You're right. It is more authentic than that. Uh, So uh, we have two very different... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but I feel like I'm on the edge here. Like, that makes sense to me. Like, she was doing all those things for him because she, like, was caught in his web of lies. And so. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. And then I put five because of her job and, like, knowledgeable, preserving, curious, intense. Um, and I don't think she, I think, yes, she initially helped Arthur because she was a, she's a nice person, but she stayed because she was looking around his house and she was like, what even do you do? Who are you? Like, I could see her. Nostalgia feelers. Yeah. Like, Uh, like, what do you do? I want to know more about you. Mm. And she takes him to dinner. I just love that whole dynamic so much. I know me too. Uh, Okay. You have, you brought me to your side here. I'm going to circle. Really? Yeah. I think that definitely the way she, took care of Jasper was unhealthy like Mm, totally yeah but the unhealthiness you're right sometimes you're just too close to the situation you know yeah that's good okay curious to know your thoughts about are you thinking to do Amanda next or Miles I was thinking we should do the girls first okay let's do it yeah I want to hear all your thoughts Oh, wait, you said you have thoughts. So I want to hear, because you said 8-3, I have thoughts. I thought you were going to say IDK, but then you said I have thoughts. So I want to hear the thoughts first. (laughs) So the, I have now read the same paragraph in my last two solo shows, but it's a good one. About? About threes and eights mistyping. Yes. So threes and eights are often mistyped. Sorry. This is from from Enneagram for Relationships by Ashton Whitmire Ober on page 50, I'm reading common mistypes of threes. Threes and eights are often mistyped because they are both assertive and have the tendency to take charge. However, threes take charge because they want to see want to be seen as valuable, whereas eights just want to be in control. I am having such a hard time because from that paragraph, I'm like, I think she's an eight because she just wants to be in control. But everything else is pointing to three. So those are, that's what I'm like. I want thoughts. Tell me your thoughts. I feel like we're wizards and we just both whipped out our wand. So I have my book. <laughs> Little Harry Potter reference for you. So I'm going to read you a paragraph from the complete Enneagram 27 Paths to Greater Self Knowledge by Beatrice Chestnut, PhD, on page 21. 
Um, heart center types. So I, Iris does not feel, sorry, I misspoke. Amanda does not feel very feelingsy, right? And we know right. threes are in the heart triad. But the thing about threes, sorry, I said it. This is not me reading. This is me, Penny's opinion. I'll read in a second. <laughs> the thing about threes is that they're actually like they kind of repress their feelings. Like their feelings are not necessarily obvious to everyone all the time. And one of the first hints to me that she was a three, I'll read the paragraph in a second, sorry, <laughs> is I have a friend who is a three wing four. So this friend has made a playlist and they call it their crying playlist. And the only way they can cry is if they are listening to these sad emotional songs on this crying playlist. And it's part of their like process of dealing with emotions. Um, which when Karen Diaz sits down cause she's trying to cry about this whole horrible breakup with like her partner that she's been living with and like, he's been unfaithful and she just like randomly starts going, oh, no, nothing like that. And then she separates and moves on from it. And she's like, oh, well <laughs> that made me think of my friend and there. I was like, clearly they need to listen to this person's crying playlist and then they would be okay. <laughs> okay okay so now i'm gonna read my paragraph threes focus attention on tasks and goals to create an image of success in the eyes of others they identify with their work believing they are what they do and lose touch with who they really are so that because not just that but um the you know sh she and her partner like having this fight and he's like you work all the time you made us like place to work in like in our house you literally and then as soon as he walks out her co-worker has apparently been in her house that she lives in in their studio like the whole time <laughs> like yeah and, and, and she's laughing. like trying to separate she's trying to separate the from work to not feel her emotion that she's trying so hard not to have. She's like, it's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. And so to that, exactly that same point, Beatrice Chestnut goes on to say, for three, thinking centers on doing, though they are a heart type unconsciously, they avoid their feelings because getting caught up in emotions prevents them from getting things done. So I felt like that was, especially because we get a glimpse later on when she's having dinner with Jude Law. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. About, you know, she opens up to him and tells him like, you know, I was an only child and we were so close and like my parents split up. And like, that's when I just started throwing myself into getting things done in life. And I was like, no, that sounds like that's a three for sure. That definitely sounds like a three. Another point I had for three was when she gets to the place, the first thing she does is she keeping her three face on finds the exact place for all the things in her suitcase, where are they going to go? So everything looks nice and neat. She goes to the store and this is where she devolves into a nine as threes do. She gets all the snacks. She gets all the wine. She camps out in her bed watching TV, totally vegging because that's what nines do in their sad place. And threes go to nine and stress. So that really, yes. I, cause I did see the eight, but I mean, that was, I was really feeling that. So I 100% agree that she is a three. Yeah. And also I, grows to trust again, which is like a six, you know, six loyal. Yeah, that's true. Good. And then Graham, you put two wing three. Tell yes. me more. I put loving, caring, people, pleasing, sentimental, unselfish. And then I'm going to read page 38 
for the wing. A two with a three wing is a little more outgoing and able to be in the spotlight. They have more of a focus on setting and achieving goals as well as being seen as valuable and successful. These twos care more about what other people think of them. And the reason I thought about that was because when he's talking to Amanda about when he's dating and how he doesn't tell anybody about his kids, he's, he cares what people think and he doesn't know how for like how people are going to perceive that part of him. And I think he really cares about that a lot. Mm, that's a good but, point. But I'm interested about this four wing five. Well, okay. So I was just, I guess I kind of like totally shut out that conversation, which feels pretty silly that I would shut that out because he's ta- literally talking about why he does that. And it's because of how people perceive him. And fours are very authentic. And so that would make sense. And twos grow to four. So I think I was basing more of my four moments on just like how romantic he is. Like he is just like all the things. Now, obviously it's a romance comedy, you know, like it's written to the rom-com. Right. But like, all the things that Graham does sound like seem straight out of a romantic comedy. Like if your flight's canceled, like meet me at the pub. Like that feels such a like four thing to say, like, how can I romanticize this to the max? Yes. So just kind of all of the experiences that they have together. And when they're talking together at the, like at dinner when they go on their first date that's really like their third date and he kind of like his presence with her when she's talking about being sad like that feels like kind of a four thing like he knows what to say but twos are nurturing and caring so that makes sense as well but I think I was just really focused on like his ability to pull that out of her because people just do that to fours I think they just like I, you seem like someone who can soak up all the sad. So I'll just put this out there for you. Yeah. But twos grow to four. So that makes sense. But I did put four wing five. So maybe I was thinking four wing three instead of four wing five would make more sense. I don't know. But the two makes sense because I think a four, it almost feels like a four would be incapable of keeping like omitting that much That's... information about their lives like I feel like a four would also like the connections that fours have with their family members are sentimental I don't think that if he was a four he would really be able to omit that information or separate that from who he is yeah but maybe he could this is very interesting Because I'm thinking about a conversation we had earlier about like kids and stuff like that and how that works. But maybe if you feel like who you are as a parent is a separate, like from who your true authentic self is and you wanted to be that authentic person, you would omit. I don't know. This is just very fascinating. Another word that I didn't, oh, I did say it at the end, is the unselfish part because of a two, because his life was flipped upside down and he's just like, this is what I do. And this is like, I have a cow in my backyard and I'm learning to sew. And like, I'm like, when they're talking about him being a parent and like all the things that, I mean, obviously as a parent, you just are unselfish, but like, I, I think it's uncommon to type a, a guy as a two and you're right. You're right. I, I see a lot of those qualities that wouldn't usually associate with a guy. Yeah. And I also, there was one thing you said about him being the like romantic and it being a romance movie uh, about meeting him at the pub. I feel like that whole situation was him being a two trying to navigate what the hell she was wanting. Oh, yeah. But this is interesting. Yeah. Maybe we should ask the people. People, what do you think? We should ask the people because also you bringing up all the stuff like I have a cow back in my backyard and I'm learning to sew. Like those feel like four things to me. 
but it could also be perceived as this is what I have to do to take care of what needs to be done. Exactly. Because it's not about the action. It's about the motivation behind the action. And also, yeah, I don't know. I also have noticed a lot of families, like the people in families share lines with each other because they have had similar like experiences or similar wounds. So I think it would definitely make sense if Iris was a four, sorry, or a two that Graham would be a four or a two since yeah and went through a lot of the same things yeah I don't know that's so interesting I love it I think we should ask the people but I am on your side with the two a little bit too I, that doesn't completely make me mm-hmm. so okay so now we get to do miles yes and we agreed Scooby, Scooby, Scooby. so we can just talk about how much we love him because you put seven wing six yeah, we both put seven and six. It was like obvious. It was like spontaneous, positive, impulsive, generous, playful, upbeat. I put the the scene in the video store. That scene when he is like singing in the midi- middle of the video store. I was like seven. That's it. He's a seven. Cut dry. He cares so much about people. And the six part came into play when like he was thinking even remotely about giving his ex a chance. Like the loyal part of like okay let me hear you out let me you know that was I've probably never been so sure about a character in my whole life like seven so with six wings they're such special people because they are fun to be around and they give everything the benefit of the doubt you know like they're positive about situations like yeah it'll all be like it's gonna be okay like we're gonna work it out or they do the same to people like you know when he's at the party the Hanukkah party and he's like yeah she's gonna be on location for however many days he doesn't he's not like worried that she's away from him or anything he's excited for her yeah you know and then they're well what does she do she's an actress she hasn't had a gig yet, but she's going to. Like he is. That is yeah. such a, that's not just a seven qual like that is seven wing six. Definitely. Beautifully. And after the party comes, like everyone leaves. It's him and Iris. The first thing is, that was awesome. <laughs> and I knew right away he was a seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's just such a happy, like, happy for everybody. Your success, I'm so happy for your success, definitely. Yeah, for sure. And I love, yeah, when my husband came in while we were watching, while I was watching the movie, and he was just like, I can't even look at Jack Black's face without cracking up. He doesn't even have to be saying anything or doing anything. Like, he just gives off that funny fun guy vibe like I would imagine Jack Black is probably a seven I don't but (laughs) that's yeah just from like I don't know Tenacious D and all the (laughs) all the I'm gonna just nod and say yeah I don't know what that is (laughs) like a funny parody not kind of like a parody funny band um oh yeah so it's cool. Huh. Creative souls. Arthur is so sweet and I love him. I know. I, the whole time I was like, my mind, I was like, you're old and you have so much life that you are just still so excited to live. And like, well, after he meets Iris, he like gets this new found, like he lights up. Yes. But I was just like, yeah, the whole time I was like, oh my gosh, I love him so much. <laughs> I love he like him and Iris just go together so well. Like it, I don't know, just the part of what makes this movie so good, which, okay, you might see my teachering show, but also why I think people like Frozen so much is like, even though it's like feel good, not necessarily because of something romantic. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, I think that's so good amazing and people need to hear more stories about things that are like that you know like positive experiences that aren't 
sexual. Right. <laughs> you know, it's just, yeah. there needs to be more stories like that, that people tell. And I just love it. I think it's so sweet. And I love how he, you know, it's our meat cute. And um, yeah, she just draws the life out of him in, in a good way. <laughs> Definitely. So I don't know. I put him as a four or a seven. And you put a five wing four. Yes. Okay. Tell me about your five wing four. Uh, I put knowledgeable, curious, intense, a research, a researcher, subject expert. Even when he's giving his speech at the very end, he's like, I am a subject expert. I've lived through all of these things and he has all these movies for her to watch. And he just, I feel like the whole time he's just giving her information the whole time in not in like a researchy way but like you should know this let me teach you this let me show you how to do this and before he met her he was pretty shut off and she like drew him out and then yeah yeah I really picked up on the withdrawn thing too um like definitely that's his stance he is withdrawn all the way I have a big W circled by Arthur (laughs) and I can see like the like I think the difference is our perception because I latched onto that too like he's constantly giving her information and he's constantly telling her stories about this is how this happened and this is how this happened but for me I viewed it as more nostalgia like he like is you have to watch all of these movies because they are so good. And like, I really want to share these experiences with you. And I, when I think about Arthur, I just see his big old smile cracking. He's cracking up a lot and stuff. So I, I think I would have put him in the heart triad instead of um, the head, like thinking. So um, heart triad is two, three, four head triad is five, five, six, seven. Is that right? Sevens in the head triad just kind of blows my mind a little bit. Uh, five, six, seven. And so I think that's what pulled that there for me. But I also did put that he could be a seven, but it was just because when he was telling some of the stories, like some of the things that he did were just so impulsive. I was like, he could be a seven. I just, I think he's a, I, I put him as like a four wing five because of the list orienting. <laughs> and all right. that but like the storytelling and like in his hat in his home like he it's such a I can't believe I'm about to say this it's such a vibe like you know he has like all of the pictures of the most sentimental moments and they're like everywhere they're not like beautifully curated but just like the papers like I don't know I just I so, think we're wing five so two things yes first thing the things that are in his house, it seems like he just has them to have them. They're not put, I feel like a four would be like, this is what I did here. This is, but like the, the award that she notices the gold, I don't even know yeah, what it's it not is. Displayed. It's not displayed. It's just there. And right. then also it says fours can feel envious of others when they have what fours want. Uh, when they have what the four wants or experiencing things the four wants to experience. Mm -hmm. I don't see him as envious at all. But I don't think we got to see a shadow side of him other than like that he was withdrawn. That's true. I don't know. Which is also part of why the reason I wrote down seven, because like he never seemed really beaten down. Like even when he was like, when she picks him up off the side of the road, she's like, he, you know, can you tell me where you live? And he's like, well, no, but at least that makes one of us, (laughs) you know? um, Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I I don't think he's a five, but he could be. It's just that I think he's in the heart triad. So that's why like I'm dedicated to the four, but that doesn't mean seven in the gut. No, the head, the seven is in the head triad, but kind of like how the three is sort of feeling repressed. Because the seven is like that. When he's telling the story about how he got his first job, yeah. that's very gutsy. Like I just, I just told them I would do it. And then the next day I was on the payroll. 
like yeah, I thought that everything was impulsive. Yeah, I wonder if he's a seven. Right, sevens are thinking or head drive. Yeah, yeah, five six. You put, yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. The people will have to tell us for him as yes. well. So after the people can send us their typing thoughts, that would be really good. Yes, definitely. Especially on Arthur and Graham. Yes. <laughs> we need to, we need the people's help. We need the help from the people. So snack time? It's snack break. This popcorn is so good. I cannot even handle how good it is. It's white pep or white chocolate peppermint popcorn. It, I drizzled white chocolate all over it. Ghirardelli white chocolate, but might I add. And then I put like green sugar sprinkles or like sanding sugar, you know, green sanding sugar, crushed peppermint. And then I put these little fun candy cane sprinkles on, you know, to make it festive. It's so good. I still have some and I'm like savoring it. I'm like, okay, every once in a while I can try this or not try it, but have some. It's so good. (laughs) That sounds amazing. I need to make some clearly you seriously should my sister texted me and was like I'm making this at holiday baking I was like you need to it's so good I love it Uh, and it's up on the blog so super easy I love it yeah this is our last episode of the season together I know it's so weird we are planning season season three that's insane I'm so happy that people are starting to send in their thoughts about what we should talk about yes so if you have thoughts send them our way because we will we are like we said are planning season three so now's the time if you want to hear what yeah and especially now with solo shows like we can talk about so many different kinds of things so I'm cool we definitely talked about doing Shit's creek yes so I'm pretty pumped about that. I wore a, a poncho to our planning meeting yesterday, inspired by David. David. <laughs> Ew, David. <laughs> so yeah, that will definitely be on our list. Yep. And then someone suggested Anne with an E. So that that could be happening. We want to know. Tell us the things. We're so excited. It's so neat to see people like talk about typing characters and talk about their own Enneagram types. So and be excited about the movies and shows that we're talking about and it be their favorite movie ever. That If you can tell us what movies to talk about, then we will talk about them. We will do it. So speaking of like their favorite movies and shows ever my solo show sorry my dog just jumped across the screen it was really cute it was really cute (laughs) little and fluffy you might have seen him on our feed (laughs) but (laughs) um my next solo show the last show of the season is Grey's Anatomy which has been on the air forever like since since the holiday came out (laughs) right my little sister, who is 14, one of them, is so excited about you doing this show. Yeah, She's, like, obsessed. It's going to be crazy. So um, I definitely am not going to type all the characters because it's a lot of characters. So this might be yeah. a multiple part situation. So I'm pumped. It's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, that's all. That's it. Yeah. In 2021, people. Woohoo. Bye.